This is Ibrahim from the Widescreen Gaming Forum, and we're going to take a look at bezel compensation in the new Catalyst 10.3 preview driver from ATI. So I've got my three monitors here set up, each running at 1920 by 1200. And so we're going to go into the control panel, and we are going to create an affinity group, three by one displays. And it's going to ask me if they're in the right arrangement out here, and I'm going to say no. It's going to ask me which displays are blue. And I'll be done with that. And then let me move this in the middle and try to zoom in here for you. Hopefully, so you can see this a little better. It will ask you now, as part of the setup, if you would like to compensate for the bezels at the edges of your displays. So I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to go straight into this configuration tool. Let me back it up a little bit here. Where you get this triangle between the left and center display. And then you have this four arrow adjustment tool in the middle. And so what you can do is you can go back and forth. So you can go right and left until the triangle on the left hand side looks like it is passing behind the bezel properly. Now this will take some trial and error especially if you have your monitors at an angle. Mine are running about 45 degrees and so you're not just measuring the width of the bezel or trying to compensate for the width of the bezel but you're also compensating for the angle that's induced and how the appearance of objects will be going behind the bezel. So I've previously worked with this, and the system actually remembers the setting that I had previously. In the very first versions of this, it did not, in any adjustments, you had to start over. So this is a good improvement and benefit that um, ATI has in this newer iteration of the driver and shows that they're working to improve the user experience. So once you get this one set up, you then click this set of arrows here, now you'll notice there's up and down arrows. So if you're running a three by two, or a two over one, or a three over one, or some other sort of setup, you would be able to configure that bezel management as well. So here we're gonna flip these here. And then what you'll notice as I pan over is it asks you if these patterns look correct. And then I'm gonna say yes because I've already actually set this up and I know that this is good or very close to good. Now what you'll notice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pan back over here, if you can see, for this Windows 7 desktop, there's this fine white line that goes behind the bezels here. You can see the cursor moving here on the display and then I'll actually point it out here. There's this fine white line as part of this Windows 7 um, arrow background. Now for me this is actually a better indicator of how things are going to look rather than the large blocky triangle. Um, and I hope that ACI will take some feedback and use a, a pattern or an image that has finer details that it's easier to match up. Um, for any triple head to go users out there, you'll remember that uh, Matrox used a large X, so you could actually adjust all the monitors at once. You know, it was a very fine line that was easy to uh, match up and make fine tunings across the monitors. So now that we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to the center monitor and I'm going to bring up the display properties. And what you'll notice is that the resolution that I have here, you zoom in again, sorry for the bouncing there, is 6048 by 1200 sitting on top of 5760 by 1200. So the 6048 is the bezel compensated version of the native 5760 by 1200. And let me tilt this up just slightly. You'll notice as I go between these, Windows is actually making that slight adjustment to 
the aspect ratio of the display. Now one other neat feature here on this is that for the next intermediate resolution, which is 5040 by 1050, the ATI driver automatically inserts the proper compensation of 5292 by 1050. So once you get the compensation set at your native resolution, you don't have to go back and do it again at your intermediate resolution. So this is very handy that they will go in and do that additional offset for you. If you look at it in the Catalyst Control Panel, um, let me bring that here into the center of the frame for you. You'll notice that it says here in the grouping we have all the basic resolutions, then the HDTV, then the grouped. You'll notice the 2400 by 600, the 5040 by 1050, the 5760 by 1200, and then the bezel compensated versions of those. So within the Catalyst Control Panel, they actually identify them as the same native resolutions, but they group them under a heading called bezel compensated. Now when you're in a game, we'll see if we can get something in here real quick before um, either tape runs out or I lose your interest. If we come in to say Half-Life 2 Lost Coast here on the Steam setup, it's going to launch and because I haven't played at this native resolution before we'll see what it sets up as as it goes across and we'll just concentrate here on the area around the center monitor so we can concentrate on those bezels now you'll notice here how it's giving the big cursor in the middle and it's actually giving the um, large chunky display all the way around and the big cursor that means that Lost Coast is not finding a resolution that it um, is familiar with so we'll go to options and then we'll go to video and you have to for this one go under 16 by 9 and then you actually get the 6048 by 1200 and the 5760 by 1200 and so if I select that and I can go to the advanced tab and all of my same settings are there so here I can click apply and you'll notice here um, I'll bring this window back in we'll pan over for just a moment but you'll notice here how the roof line goes behind the bezels on the building here to the side and you'll also know how you'll notice how the scaffolding goes behind now if I were to come in and select the 5760 by 1200 and then click apply you'll notice how in that same space the roof line and the scaffolding and the rest of the building make a harsh jump how um, you have this point here and you can see the mouse creep over and it seems to actually jump back upwards but actually that that point is on the same plane so I'll select the bezel compensated view and I actually really like the video stress test here in Lost Coast as a way to test bezel management appearance. Um, you've got this building up here but then as I start the stress test and you'll see as it comes out you have on this side what looks to be like the hull of an airplane and you have this cage that goes behind the bezels and for me that provides a really good estimate of how well the bezel compensation is working. Now if you wanted to make further adjustments you can then jump back because it's remembered your settings you can um, make some small adjustments either in or out but this is bezel compensation in the Catalyst 10.3 preview driver from ATI.